However, by banking the bend, like you see at a velodrome or at a car racing track, cars can more easily travel around the bend, even if there is no friction at all. Intuitively, it can help to imagine a marble rolling around the inside of a cone. There's very little friction between the marble and the cone, however if you spin the cone, the marble will begin to undergo uniform circular motion. To see this, let's look at a very simple model, a car sliding around a banked track with no friction. Firstly, how do we know when we can use our understanding of uniform circular motion to understand a banked track? If we consider a slope that is curving around a central point, so that, like the marble we discussed before, you can model the car as if we're travelling along the inside of a cone, with the radius being the distance to the central axis of the cone, and the bank angle equal to the angle the cone makes of the horizontal, then, as long as the car is travelling at a constant speed, we can use our uniform circular motion equations. It's difficult to draw both the bank and the forces acting on the car all in the same drawing, so bank tracks are typically shown as simply a vertical cutaway of the problem. In this case, the cone cutaway will resemble a triangle.